Hello. I sought the spell of mastery, but stuff still happened. So what's up? The US Justice Department just kind of blew up the right-wing chudosphere. Two major things have happened. One, the DOJ put out an affidavit talking about Russia's efforts to have fake accounts just populating social media with shit takes. Two, the uncovering of Tenant Media, which is a right-wing media outlet that is associated with a bunch of big name right-wing influencers, such as Tim Pool. Let's actually start with that second one. The Department of Justice has basically called out right-wing influencers who have been receiving money to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars from Russian operatives who were pretending to be a media company in America. Now, the DOJ has made it clear that it's not the fault of the influencers necessarily. But that means that the two options here are either these right-wing influencers were aware of what was happening and they were okay with it, or they were useful idiots, or both, probably both. Tim Pool, Josh Rubin, and the like have since taken to social media and been like, ah, oh, I've been alerted that I was the victim of a crime. Somehow all this money I was receiving to spew hatred and foster vitriolic ideology among my young impressionable base came from somewhere unexpected. Russia. Who would have thought that the country whose whole like internet thing is trying to destabilize the discourse in US politics would be paying people who are destabilizing discourse in US politics. The other part, which is an affidavit that has a translated Russian document talking about plans to essentially make fake accounts on social media and astroturf for the Republican party. Sorry. U.S. Political Party A. The document has multiple redactions, and the redactions are always U.S. Political Party A, when referring to the U.S. political party that is most aligned with furthering Russian agendas. It's a strategy document that's like, hey, okay, so this one, this one political party in the U.S. is kind of like already doing the thing that we want to do, which is destabilizing the U.S., so let's just pump them up. Russia and U.S. Political Party A, truly imagined made in heaven. Quite literally, here's a quote. U.S. Political Party A is currently advancing a relatively pro-Russian agenda, which could be exploited. In summation, yes, there are loads of fake social media accounts out there being run by either professional people who are doing this to sow discord or AIs, just being AIs, but it's real, it's a thing. Be thoughtful about the content you're engaging with. I'm not even an exemption, but if if my production value is of any indication, I am not receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars from Russia. If there's a, an entity out there that uh, wants to to push a, a pro bidet narrative, uh, I am, I'm here and my pockets are ready. If you're just trying to slip a hundo in there. Lightning round. There's a measles outbreak happening in Oregon among children as there has been an abysmal rate of vaccination. Vaccinate your kids. You know, that thing that we've done forever that has actually eradicated viruses in the past? Do that. Despite originally refusing to comply, Elon Musk's Starlink internet service is now blocking Twitter in Brazil per a court order. OpenAI has stated that they wouldn't really be able to be a business if they had to adhere to copyright law and not use copyrighted material in their training data. Hey y'all, the call? Speaking of dumb AI bullshit, Microsoft has clarified that you're not supposed to be able to uninstall their invasive recall system on Windows 11, which is going to snapshot your computer frequently and just store all that data to be processed by an AI to help you. They pushed an update, that said you could disable it, and they were like, that was a mistake, oopsies. And finally for today, No Man's Sky is finally a real video game because they've added a fishing mini game. It joins the ranks of Destiny and Animal Crossing in the real video game territory. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Head to skh.news for sources and more. My name is Endeavorance. I will see you again soon. Take care and be well.